In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five best transitions for After Effects. I really, really try to make as quality transitions as possible for this video. So be sure to watch the full tutorial. And if you guys don't know, I have a all-in-one bundle on my website where you literally get all of my editing packs on my whole website. And you now get a course included as well where I'm showing you guys how to use the editing packs, which is easily the best deal I have on my website. So to check it out, there's going to be a link at the top of the description. Now let's start creating these transitions here. So here we're in After Effects and I'm going to be using these two clips here from NEMS. And the composition settings I'm using are FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same. So the first transition we're going to be making is called Random Frames Transition. And how to make that is basically it's just to take some bit of your footage here. So we can take this clip here, press Ctrl D, and then I'm going to cut it here. So it's one second long, this clip here. Drag it between the videos here, make a marker mark the middle and here we're going to be adding random edits and i'm going to set the edit frame length to one here so when we play this it's going to be creating this like super fast frames flickering look here and then after that we're going to be adding a force motion blur and here we can slightly increase the motion blur samples to 30 here and then set the shutter angle to 500 and this is going to be creating this kind of cross fade between the frames here that's changing it super fast and then the shutter phase i'm gonna set that to 200 and you can use native motion blur if you want so this is how it looks so far very very clean really starting to get a really really cool look here and next up to uh, create a little bit more impact to this i'm going to be adding brightness and contrast here and i'm going to start off at the beginning here and i'm going to set the brightness at maximum so 150 then keyframe the brightness go to the middle here set the brightness to minus 50 then go to the end set the brightness to 150. open up the layer fx Brightness and contrast, mark the keyframes, easy ease them, then open up the graph here, and here drag this one in like that, and this one out like this here, same on the other side, just like that. So it's going to be flashing out in the beginning here, then it's going to be dark, and then it's going to be starting to flash up again and then we can make this yellow here so we can see the transition and now to finish off this transition here i'm going to be adding two small flash frames here so how to create those is basically to make a new solid layer make it white cut the solid layer one frame before the transition uh, layer here starts so it's going to be a frame like that and then at the ending cut it like this one frame after the transition layer and make it one frame just like that you can rename it flash frame so this is how you create this insane random frames transition in after effects here looks absolutely incredible super unique touch you can add to your music videos or whatever projects you guys are working on you can make the layers here invisible now now the next transition we're going to be creating is called chrome warp and this i mean this is going to look absolutely incredible this transition here so how to create it is basically make a adjustment layer Control alt y to create a adjustment layer i'm going to make it one second long here so we can cut it here so it's going to be one second in length and we can make a marker here grab some water to stay hydrated guys really important so the first effect we're going to be adding here is called quick chromatic aberration free and this is a free plugin that i'm going to be linking in the description so you guys can easily go and download it basically so here we can start off by keyframing the scale here set it to 105 at the transition point open up stylistic then set distort uniform to 10 percent here then keyframe it as well set distort aberrate to 10 percent as well and we can keyframe that as well and then we can go to the beginning here set the scale to 100 the distort uniform to zero distort aberrate to zero as well then go to the ending same here scale to 100 distort uniform to zero distort aberrate to zero as well so this is how it looks so far after that you can open up the adjustment layer here go to effects quick chromatic aberration free transform we can start off with this one select the keyframes and easy ease them then open up the graph here and here we're going to be creating a simple sharp graph here just like this here then open up stylistic 
select the keyframes here again, then ECs them, open up the graph, make literally the same graph here. So something like this, simple sharp graph, then go to uh, distort aberrate, and the same kind of graph here, just like that. And it's going to look something like this when we play it now. Much cleaner than before and creates a little bit more impact now to our transition. Now that was the chroma part. Now we're going to be adding the warp part by adding the effect warp. So when we add it, we get this crazy look here. And what you just need to do is basically change the warp style here from orc to fisheye here. And now we get this, you know, fisheye look here. Uh, we want it to go in instead. So how to fix that is basically to... Uh, Go to the transition point here and then set the bend to minus 100 here. So something like that. Keyframe the bend at minus 100. Go to the end, set it at zero. Go to the beginning, set it at zero as well. So now if we open up warp here, we can that we can mark and easy ease again. Open up the graph, simple sharp graph here again to get the same flow throughout the effects here. So we get this look here. Looks very, very nice right now. And I want to make it a little bit stronger, but the maximum is minus 100. So I'm basically going to be duplicating this whole warp effect here. So when we have fixed the graph here right now, you just press Control D on the warp here. That's going to be creating a duplicate version of that effect with the same graph, same values, everything like that. So now when we play it, we get a super strong warp here. That looks super smooth and clean. And now when it's warping this fast, you want to have some sort of motion blur here. And I'm going to be adding a manual motion blur here by using the effect radial blur. Nice. And here, change the type to zoom here. And then set the amount here to 100. Then keep from the amount 100 at the transition point. Go to the end, set it to zero. Go to the beginning, set it to zero as well. Open up radial blur. Select the keyframes here. Easy ease them. Open up the graph. And as always, simple sharp graph here. So now when we play it, we get this insanely clean chroma warp transition here. Insanely nice. Now to hide the edges here and also to create a little bit more impact here, we're going to be adding a transform now. Set the scale at the transition point to... 110 and the key from it go to the end set it to 100 beginning 100 as well open up transform select the keyframes easy ease them open the graph and make a smooth sharp graph and you will get this look here insanely clean look here and how to amplify this even more is to uh, press toggle switches and modes and here we can add motion blur here so now when we play the whole thing it's going to look something like this here Super, super clean transition here. Literally one of the coolest and cleanest transitions I've made in my opinion. Super, super nice. And now for the third transition, it's called the Chroma Flicker transition, which also looks insanely, insanely nice. And how to make it is basically to create a adjustment layer, press Ctrl Alt Y, and we'd make this one one and a half seconds long. So cut it at the right length, and then we're going to be centering it like that make a marker in the middle and here we're going to be adding flicker to this i'm going to set the amplitude to five at the transition point and then keyframe it go to the ending set it to zero then beginning set it to zero there as well open up the layer effects flicker select the keyframes and easy ease them open up the graph simple sharp graph here just like that super clean and after that we're going to be adding a warp chroma and here we can keyframe the from said distant here so set it to 0.5 here and it's going to look something like this you can increase the steps here to 30 to get a more smoother look here on the rgb and then go to the ending here set it at one then beginning set it at one as well then you can open up the effect here select the keyframes easy ease them then make the classic sharp graph as we've done before and now when we play it you will get this look here i mean literally one of the cleanest chrome touch transitions you can make like flickering chrome zoom boom you get this look here absolutely incredible look here in my opinion super super clean and it's going to look amazing for your music videos. And next up we have the noise flash transition, which looks super, super cool. A flash with a bit of noise touch there looks really, really clean. So how to create it is basically to make a new adjustment layer, Control alt y I'm going to make it one second in length. Here I'm going to be adding noise and key from the amount of noise at 100% at the transition point. Go to the end, set it to zero. Beginning, set it to zero as well. 
this is pretty simple to make so i'm gonna add brightness to this as well brightness and contrast go to the transition point set the brightness and contrast to uh, the maximum here stuff like this then go to the end set it to zero zero on contrast as well beginning set it to zero there as well then open up the adjustment layer go to effects open up the uh, effects here then select all of the keyframes ECs them as always we can start off with the amount of noise here so open up the graph make a simple sharp graph as we did before just like this here super clean now and then we can go down to brightness now same graph here contrast same here as well so now when we play this you guys will be getting this transition here super simple super easy super clean to create and it looks super super clean on your music videos here absolutely amazing transition here and now for the last transition here i'm going to be making a shine transition here super super cool glowy shining kind of transition here uh, and this is how to make it so create a new adjustment layer control out y make it one and a half seconds long just like that here i'm going to be starting off by adding flicker and i'm going to go to the transition point i'm going to set the amplitude to 0 0.5 and then key from the amplitude go to the ending set the amplitude to zero beginning set the amplitude to zero as well then we can open up the adjustment layer effects flicker same graph as we have done in the whole uh, tutorial here so go to graph make this simple sharp graph just like that so now we get this look here small flicker and then after that we're going to be adding rays so this is how the rays effect is going to look here it's going to be having this uh, shine rays light rays to uh, the uh, footage here and we're going to start off by setting the rays length to one which is the maximum which uh, i think looks much better and you get this more realistic look in my opinion then i'm gonna go to the transition point here and here i'm going to be keyframe the rays brightness here and i'm going to set it to 7.5 so it's going to be a little bit brighter now then go to the ending set it to zero go to beginning set it to zero as well and then you guys know the rest open up the rays effect select the keyframes you see them simple sharp graph as we've done with all of the other graphs in this whole tutorial honestly <laughs> and the last thing we're adding here is deep glow so here on deep glow we're going to start off by changing the glow mode here to a lens iris just like that and here we're going to be keyframe the exposure at one at the transition point nice then go to the beginning set it to zero then go to the end set it to zero as well and then after that we're going to be opening up input and then i'm going to set the threshold here to a 90 percent and that's going to be making the glow just glowing on the brightest parts in the footage we have and then set the threshold smooth to 25 percent now if you open up deep glow here go to main select the keyframes you guys already know now ecs graph sharp graph like that and now when we play it we get this clean glowing flickering shine transition here which looks absolutely incredible super clean super easy to make and it's yeah literally perfect for music videos and now when we have made all of these transitions here we have made five transitions in total which you know looked super super good in my opinion now how to save these transitions now so you guys can use it for another time is basically to yeah, go to the shine transition here, for example, and just press Ctrl A to select all of the effects here. Go to animation, save animation preset, then go in, name it, press save, and you guys will be able to use it for another time. And that was basically it for this top five transitions in After Effects. I'm very, very satisfied with these transitions here, and I hope you guys are as well. And yeah, other than that, check out my all-in-one bundle with my newly added course to it. It's going to be available at the top of the description. Literally the best deal I have on my whole website. And all of the effects included is just, you know, out of this world. Super, super good. So be sure to check out the all-in-one bundle. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.